Hello my friends, I'm Jake and this is 7 Minute Snippets. Today we're going to be talking about collaboration across design and development. Typically when we think about design and development, we see it as two sides. Design tends to be the what we want and development is essentially what we have. I also like to think of two other hemispheres. Top being the product, the bottom being patterns. The product is where we're going, patterns are essentially how we get there. We have design and development, product and patterns. And as these start to overlap, we kind of are left with four quadrants that as we bring life to it, look pretty familiar. Product design in the upper left, the design patterns that support it beneath it. And then we have product development in the upper right and development patterns supporting that effort as well. In product design, this is typically where we're thinking about screens, the future of the product, the direction we're going. There's a lot of storytelling here, narrative about the evolution of the product. Beneath it, we have the design patterns that kind of support that effort. That might be a design system. It could just be as simple as color tokens. Uh, it could be considerations about the accessibility of a color palette. We're essentially consolidating all of this energy on the product design side. We're distilling it into patterns that can make it reproducible, that make it aligned with the brand. We have a very similar dynamic happening on the development side. So we have product development. Folks are taking that product design and they're hooking it up to the back end. They're kind of executing on that design. They're bringing in the data from the database, the content. And then we have development patterns supporting that effort. So if you're building out a component library, even something as simple as style conventions, uh, the way that the files are structured in the code base, these are all examples of the sorts of patterns that kind of exist on the code side to support that greater effort to make the product development side easier. A lot of times, especially at a smaller scale for early startups, you kind of have hybrid designer developers kind of managing all four of these things at once. Even though it may not be exclusive to a role, all four of these sets of concerns are very much present. You're worried about the future of the product from a design perspective. You're worried about design patterns to kind of make that product design more scalable easier to iterate on. Similarly, on the product development side, you're thinking about the fastest way to implement something, but as you go, you kind of want to start building patterns to make it easier to implement things as they change. You might find yourself in a scenario where you have kind of designers doing the design things and developers doing the development things. Even if there isn't granularity there, they're still kind of thinking about these things. Ideally, you get to the place where either individuals or teams are owning certain aspects of this directly. If you're in a scenario where you have this granularity on the development side, you have full stack, back end, front end developers kind of implementing front end, putting the instances of components into the page, and then you have the development patterns kind of being owned by UI engineers, design systems engineers, or front end developers. These are the folks that are kind of building out these patterns to support the product development effort. You might have the granularity on the design side, product or UX designers building out the future of the product, as well as a design patterns focused design system designer, UI designer, teams of designers that are focused on building out components and patterns to support that product design effort. Ideally, no matter what scenario you're in, you get to a point where you have individuals focused and dedicated to these different concerns. And maybe you have teams managing this, maybe you have individuals managing this. When this is all working really well together, typically have to start thinking about communication across those areas. Horizontal conversation between product designers and product developers, and the horizontal conversation between designer patterns designers and development patterns developers. Design, like we said earlier, is the what we want. We're speaking to developers who are really familiar with what we have. The designers are having a conversation that's very much about the intentions. Here's where we're going. Here's what we intend to have happen in the product. And developers, they're coming back with, hey, that design decision has these implications. It is easy or difficult for these reasons. This intentions, implications kind of horizontal discussion is often one that can be very full of conflict if you're not understanding where the other side's essentially coming from. It's important for both of these sides to be seen and understood in order for that communication to be a really positive experience that's moving the product forward. Similarly, on the vertical axis, design patterns to product design and from development patterns to product development, those vertical conversations are between how we get there and where we're going. For the patterns folks, they're very much trying to get their component libraries, their design systems, they're trying to have these patterns get adopted, get coverage across the product. Hopefully, those things that they're trying to have adopted represent the product really well. Product folks are very much worried about the ergonomics of those tools. Are these components easy to implement? Is it easy to understand? Is it well documented? Whether or not those patterns are serving the user 
or the product and the direction of the product is another concern here. Do these patterns need to be modified? Do we need to add new ones? Do we need to just suck it up and use the ones we have? Those are the sorts of conversations that happen in this space vertically. Ideally, again, this is a positive conversation where the sides understand where each other are coming from, but it's not always the case. A lot of times there could be tension here, especially when you don't understand where the other person is coming from. Horizontally, we have this intentions, implications conversation going back and forth. Here's the intent from design, here's the implications from development. Vertically, we have this conversation about adoption and ergonomics. This is really firing on all cylinders when everyone kind of understands where each other are coming from. And we can see that each of these quadrants is coming from multiple angles. Product design is worried about both ergonomics and design intent, design patterns are worried about the intentions and adoption from a patterns perspective. Similarly, product development, the ergonomics of tools they've been given and the implications of the design that is being handed off to them. And then development patterns are worried about adoption of their component library and the implications of designs coming over their way from the design patterns folks. These dynamics are present in any direction conversation. Even diagonal conversations can happen here. And each of these roles is considering all of these different things when they think about UI that's being created. If the product is where we're going and the patterns are how we get there, when this is working really well, we know exactly how to get where we're going. The patterns speak directly to the needs of the product. So the goal here vertically is to know how to get where we're going. Horizontally, design is what we want and development, which is what we have, becomes more about what we want is what we have. Instead of thinking of this as developing 70% of what was originally intended, we're thinking about this as we have built 100% of what we can build together. The most important thing in this dynamic is to trust the people you work with and to better understand where they're coming from so that you can build great products together. Hope that was helpful. This is Jake signing off from 7 Minute Snippets. Have a great week.